never really had an interest in designing fashion, but I really enjoyed art. Um, growing up, I went to art school, and I have an appreciation for fashion, so it was kind of my way of marrying the two. Fashion illustration is an artistic interpretation of a garment. I can either create something from my head that I would love to exist, or I could see something coming down the runway. I do a lot of custom work for corporate clients. I've worked with um, Saks, Nemo Marcus, Barneys, Disney. And then the other half of my business is the print shop. So customers all over the world can purchase my um, artwork on, um, as a print that they can hang up in their home or on mugs. When I started out, I didn't go into it with any intention. I didn't say, I'm gonna be you know, an artist on Instagram, or I didn't even really consider myself an artist at the time. I went to art school, but um, when I graduated, I didn't have a job that was art related. I was working in a um, school part-time, and I was bartending. Um, and on my breaks at both of those jobs, I was sketching you know, in my notebook or on like the napkins at the bar when I was bartending, stuff like that. Um, and I took all of my artwork that I had created and just started posting it on Instagram on a channel that was separate from my personal account. Um, and this is probably about 2012, so it wasn't, Instagram wasn't really this like money machine that it is now. Um, and all of a sudden I noticed people were following me, people were commenting, and people from all over. So it wasn't just people locally, it was people um, you know, in different countries, in LA, New York, um, and I was getting these corporate clients that were commenting me on, on my photos or reposting my photos. So I had, early on I had um, a lot of really highly visible either people or accounts repost me, and so that helped me build a following quickly. And um, I had this demand for my artwork that I never thought I was going to have. I'd say 99% of my business is from Instagram. Um, so all my, the customers that purchase any, the, the ready to buy, I call it, um, artwork come from all over. I get a lot in New York, California. We have a really large population in Australia that buys from us. Um, they usually find me on Instagram. So when I create a new piece that um, is available for my customers to buy, um, the process kind of goes with, I'll, I'll finish the sketch, um, and then I'll do like a little post on Instagram about it, whether it's a um, story or an in-post feed, and I'll just say, hey guys, like new print, um, like right now, right now I did a bunch of bridal work. Um, I'll say, hey brides out there, um, check out the new bridal collection that I created, and um, it draws people in, and I'll get the ding on my phone that we sold it, and it's always interesting to see where it's going and um, to who it's going to. And then it kind of comes full circle, then they'll post a picture of it on Instagram. Um, and then their friend might see it and say, oh, where'd you get that? And so it's kind of this big um, circle. My favorite part is being able to dictate what I um, do and what I create. Um, and I think my least favorite part is, this is kind of an obvious answer, but all the admin stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible at math, terrible at all that kind of concrete work, um, which is why I went to art school. <laughs> the art comes naturally, but the business side of things I had to work for. I'd love to travel more. Um, I'm lucky that my business is mobile <laughs> for the most part, so um, yeah, I just love to take my markers with me and go different places, which um, I've tried to do so far, so just hoping to broaden my horizons even more.